Hey everybody, welcome to Marvel Mondays. I'm Trip. Not gonna do it? Nope. You're not even gonna say your name? Nope. If you can't tell, there's a little bit of tension here because today's topic is Marvel versus DC. So one of the hotly debated things online recently has been all the releases that have come from Warner Brothers Studios in regards to their DC properties. Most people have kind of reacted to it unfavorably, uh, even when logic should prevail and say that Ben Affleck and that Batman costume is dope. But some people, not naming names, uh, have issues with it. And we're going to discuss that on today's show. You DC. Is that it? In the buckle. So, <laughs> let's talk about Ben Affleck and that Batman costume. If I'm not mistaken, when that picture got released, what was some of the horrible, stupid bullshit you said about it? He needs to shave. Sure, because <laughs> Batman has never had stubble before. It looks too cartoony. It looks exactly like it was ripped from the comic book pages. And the bat symbol is too fat. Just like in Scott Snyder's run on the critically acclaimed Batman series. Fat. Are you at any point going to have... Because I know you have a lot to say. Do I need to bring up the Joker for you to say something? Do you want me to walk out of this room right now? I want you to share your opinion with the viewing public. I have no gripe with DC comic books. <laughs> I love Jeff Johns. I love The Flash. I love Superman. However... I have beef with you, Warner Brothers, because you guys keep f***ing sh up. And it's not that hard. You see how good Marvel has done it. And what the f*** is up with Aquaman? Jason Momoa, is that his name? Mimosa? Momoa. Jason Mimosa. Mimesis? Momoa. Jason Mimesis. What is it again? Momoa. Minecraft? Jason Minecraft is not a bad Aquaman. F*** you. F*** you too. So what is it exactly that you hate about Aquaman? Uh, he looks like Rob Zombie. Would you rather Aquaman look like Rob Zombie or this? With ability to summon and command all creatures of the deep, Aquaman. I mean, he's kind of cute, but <laughs> what about this guy from Injustice? I he did. kills. It was, it was he funny. kills people with a shark. That's badass. Now. Is, is that kind of like where your issue with DC lies? Is, is the fact that uh, it doesn't seem like they're being as faithful to the comic book source material? Uh, yeah. It feels like Warner Brothers, the people up there, the rich snobs who'd be like, oh yeah, let's jump on the Marvel train. Mm -hmm. You don't need to jump on the Marvel train. Warner Brothers is coming late into the race. Sure. Warner Brothers is coming in with their version, their reality base, their Emo Justice League. We don't know if it's emo. We oh, they're know, all we emo. We know it's darker. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Brooding. We're there all well, brooding. Than emo. Do you be? <laughs> you will. I can only imagine what Aquaman's gonna say. <laughs> Do you swim? <laughs> yes. <Let's see. laughs> yeah. Uh, DC was trying to compete, but they fucked <laughs> it up with Green Lantern. Man of Steel was like their last ditch effort. At that point, like my immediate grief. <laughs> With Man of Steel, yeah, was Jonathan Kent. Well, yeah, I mean, come on. You Kevin Costner was great at it, but that was a <laughs> undercooked roll and a half. Don't save me from a tornado. Stay back. No, can't show your powers. Which no one can see you because you're Superman. You can move faster than a speeding bullet. You could just zip around everybody, come get your paw, and then take them home and come back and be like, where'd paw go? Man of Steel, I thought was okay. Did not hate it. There was definitely issues with it. But then again, I don't give a fuck about Superman. But I think that the Batman, and I hate the title by the way, the Batman B Superman trailer, <laughs> like I did get excited. I thought it looked good. I didn't see in anything inherently wrong. And what floored me was that comic book fans were ripping the shit out of this movie. And that's what I find intriguing. Like how much of it is like legitimate and how much of it is just angry fanboys. The, the thing is the fanboy wants to see Superman be Superman yes. and, and be like, be the, the shining hope. Uh, Batman can always be brooding. He's the Dark Knight. But I mean, it can't have everybody that way. I mean, you're looking at Suicide Squad and that cast is also kind of like, what are we in? <laughs> what, what, what's that? Okay, okay, so this is yeah. the same world that Batman and Superman are in. And yeah. as, a, as a fan, my concern is they're rushing it. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel that they're trying so hard to be at Marvel's level 
and rushing it, it's hurting them in the process. And they have a bad track record for me. So yeah, I don't think we're ever gonna find a way to agree on this particular topic, so. You know I'm right though. I don't, but that's um... the end of our show. So comment, like, share, subscribe. Let me know below what topic you wanna see us tackle next time. Here on Marvel Mondays, Marvel Rules, woo!